We have an auction in Isaiah 55. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come to the waters, and he that hath no money, come buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which satisfies not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me, hear, and your soul shall live. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thought, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways, Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah, we keep on saying that we have a problem called sin, and that is true. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But you see, God wants to forgive us of all our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I wonder, where does that find you and I? Have we had our sins forgiven through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ? Yes, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ will secure your eternal salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world, but that, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You know, it's coming a time of judgment. If we reject the Lord Jesus Christ, there's nothing left apart from judgment. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face faced the earth, and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life, and the dead were just out of those things which are written, in the books according to their work. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead that were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works, and death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. But God doesn't want that. He's made provision for your salvation and mine. But if we reject him or neglect him, we'll end up in that place where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. When it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yet he that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. You see, Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. God wants you to repent. Have a change of mind. Friend, you've got to realise that we are the ones that are all wrong. We're sinners in his sight, in God's sight. And he's the one that's right. Let God be true, but every man a liar. We've got to repent of our sin and trust the Lord Jesus Christ, your own personal Saviour. You know, he came under his own and his own received him not. But as many as received the Lord Jesus Christ, for then God gave the power to become the children of God, even to them that believe on his name. Yes, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember that the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sins. 